With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's begin with the question and in this question it says that a fluid of density rho and viscosity nita is kept in a container and the container is accelerating in horizontal direction with acceleration a and a solid small solid sphere of radius r density rho by 2 is held at the base of the container but the distance traveled by the sphere in attaining the half of the terminal velocity s is equal to rho r square into vt vt is the terminal velocity upon k nita in the bracket ln 2 minus 1 by 2 so we have to calculate the value of k so let's begin with the problem now first we do draw the diagram of here we will draw the sphere and then we will examine what kind of force are acting on it so here the force which is acting is its mass that is mg here the buoyant force is acting onto this that is b here and if we put the observer into this frame into the frame of the sphere so for the observer it appears like that the sphere is moving into this direction by m a so this is the concept of pseudo force so this is what we have right now now we will calculate the forces so b is buoyant force so it will be equal to v rho of water into g and rho is uh, rho of water is rho so it is v rho g it is b is equal to v rho g so it is now talking about the mass that is uh, weight of the sphere it is v, v rho by 2 into g now if you say net force in the vertical direction that is f v will be equal to b minus w and that give us when we subtract these two it give us v rho by 2 into g this is equal to m into g so this is the value that we are having right now now in the horizontal direction there is only one force that is pseudo force let's say it is f s and that is equal to m a so from here we have a net force that is f net and this is equal to root of mg plus ma and its whole square okay so if we draw the diagram here if we draw the diagram let's say this is the value of mg that is acting upward because it is net force that comes out by the subtraction of buoyant force and the force of force applied by the weight so that come out in the up so now f net will act into this direction right this is the f net now to attain the terminal velocity when the body attain terminal velocity then the force applied by the ball uh, by the sphere will be into this and this will be equal to this so f net will be equal to 6 pi eta r into v only then it attains the terminal velocity it is should be vt only then it attains the terminal velocity terminal velocity is the constant velocity by which the ball will move and in constant velocity there will be no force will act because constant velocity will produce zero acceleration so net force will be zero so net force that is produced by produced on the ball should be equal to the net force produced due to the viscosity and in that case uh, it will be equal to this so let's say this f net is equal to f t now we have to consider a situation before attaining the terminal velocity so before attaining the terminal velocity let's let's say that situation is fd and in that case the the value of force was 6 pi eta r into v so in that case uh, we are considering the scenario so that we are able to solve that at v when the velocity is half of the terminal velocity what will be the distance so here we calculated that fd now when it was having a force of fd still it was moving with an acceleration a so with that we can say that ft minus fd it is still moving with the acceleration a because force was still acting there is equal to ma now ft is 6 pi eta r into vt and this is 6 pi eta r 
into V and this is equal to M dV by dt. So this is what we have here. Now we will shift mass towards the other side here. So this is 6 pi eta r in, in the bracket it is Vt minus V upon mass and mass is uh, V uh, mass was M is V rho by 2 into G and V is volume. So it is 4 by 3, 4 by 3 pi r cube. So this is volume into density that is rho by 2. And this is equal to dv by dt. We can convert this by dx by, we can divide and multiply with this. So here dx by dt will give us, dx by dt will give us a v. So v dv by dx it become. So now it is, uh, from here we have, it is 9 eta by r square into rho. It is multiplied by vt minus v and this is equal to v dv by dx. So this is the value that we are having right now. What we do now, we will shuffle the value on both sides so that we can, we come in, in the condition of in, uh, uh, inter integration. So here it is 9 eta dx by r square into rho and this is equal to v dv by vt minus v. Okay. So further first we uh, make this in the condition so that we can solve this easily. This integral can be solved easily. So first we will just do some uh, simplification. So it is 9 eta dx by r square into rho. What we do in the numerator, we will add and subtract by vt. So this is minus vt and this is plus vt and then this is dv upon vt minus v. Now but when we take this together, so here we can take minus sign outside and vt minus v it becomes so this give us minus 1 while vt will remain same so this give us a equation like this vt by vt minus v minus 1 and it is dv and here we have 9 eta dx upon r square into rho. Now we are in the condition to integrate this. So to integrate this, this uh, in the question it is given that the, the distance traveled by uh, the particle to attain the terminal velocity is s. So we will integrate this from 0 to s and terminal half of the terminal velocity is it is attaining here. So here the velocity will be integrated from half of the terminal velocity that is vt by 2. So this is our integration sign here. Now we are going to solve this problem. So it is 9 eta s by r square into rho while here we have it is vt is common here and this is log in the bracket and this is negative also and in the bracket vt minus v and the limit of this is 0, zero to vt by 2 and it is already vt by now further simplify when we simplify this and calculate. So when you put the value it is 9 eta s upon r square into rho and this is minus vt. Now inside it when we put here vt by 2 the log will give us vt minus vt by 2 will be vt by 2 so it is vt by 2 and when we put 0 it is minus of log v t okay and this is minus v t by 2 further when we solve this this will this give us minus of log it is minus and this give us log v t by 2 v t we use the concept of log and log a minus log b log a by b so v t and v t is going to be cancelled here and this is vt by 2. So from here we get now it is in the on the numerator it will be 1 on the denominator it is 2. 
so log 1 minus log 2 will be, it will become but log 1 is 0 that will be 0 so 0 minus log 2 and that minus and this minus will be plus so it is vt log 2 minus vt by 2 and this is equal to 9 eta s 9 eta s by r square into rho so now we will take common vt here so by taking that common it become vt log 2 minus 1 by 2 and on the other side it is 9 neta s by r square into rho so from here s will be equal to r square rho into vt upon 9 into neta into log 2 minus 1 by 2 so this is the value we obtain while in the question s is given if you write down that value s is rho r square vt so we can write that equation also so s that is given in the question is r square rho into vt upon k into neta and this is log 2 minus 1 by 2 so when we compare this value we can clearly see that this k is equal to 9 so k is equal to 9 has come out in the end so this is about the question we calculated the value of key okay here that came out 9 in the end so this was about this question thank you for watching for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today